You know, I love that opening. I love that opening. Sue Ann Levy joins us now on the Oakley Show. Good morning, Sue Ann. Good morning, Lauren. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. John, uh, which is off today, so yours truly just... Uh... But I love you equally. Oh, there you go. I told him that. He didn't believe me. He said you loved him a tiny, tiny bit more. And I said, no, it's completely equal. Um, <laughs> we're going to hold that audio and I'll play it for him. Okay. Hey, listen, uh, our mayor is uh, on a fact-finding mission in, in the northern First Nation communities. Um, Yes. You got a problem with that? Well, I think he's coming back today. Yes. Now, um, he, uh, I actually heard from him and he was upset that I had, uh, you know, used social media as my, my, my secondary platform, uh, about the trip. And I want to be perfectly clear that what I was upset about was that he was going on a fact finding mission. I didn't care, you know, that he went on his own time or, uh, spent his own money, although I would, uh, wonder why if he was doing it on his own time, he felt the need to, uh, have multiple interviews with uh, Rogers affiliated stations before he left, but that's another story. Um, having said that, I, I think I took great exception to the fact that there are so many people living in pretty disgraceful circumstances here in Toronto, in t- Toronto community housing buildings, the portfolio that he was, you know, preached and vowed to clean up uh, going on 18 months ago, and certainly in terms of the drug dealing. So I, I, uh, challenged him to go to a building called Five Wakunda Place where um, I just, I found a Dante's Inferno, virtual Dante's Inferno, people feeling uh, powerless, living in their apartments, uh, the whole building, the two buildings in the complex have been taken over by drug dealers, the end of the month is just horrid because they all show up and apply their trade when the checks come in, right. and I said to him, if you're going to go on a fact-finding mission, then you should be going to this place, and he even talked about in his response to me Come with me. I'm happy to. I'd be happy to. I oh, went in February. There you go. Yeah. I went in February. Well, let's there. tell him where to put his money where his mouth is. Well, yeah, it'll make for a great story. But I think, in fairness to him, he's he's basically, or and I don't know if these st- statistics are true or not, but but he said that it was relevant for him to go at this time because 30 percent of Toronto's shelter system is used by First Nations men and women, but they only make up less than one percent of Toronto's population. So he says that uh, okay, it's well, important. I think it's a bit of a stretch, frankly. Uh, if you're concerned about the Aboriginals uh, in Toronto, start with the street people. And I think um, 